Imagine you're in space. There's nothing but the pitch black void of space all around you. Suddenly, you notice off in the black nothingness, a pair of glowing white eyes looking back at you. You rub your eyes, thinking it might be a trick of your mind, but as you look again, the glowing eyes are still there, but closer. Now, much to your horror, you can make out a humanoid shape that those eyes belong to, just floating off in the distance. You're left stunned, too scared to move. You see that thing slowly approach your ship, then Suddenly you fall to the floor, a loud deafening sound ringing in your ears, blood starts to drip from your ears, and you pass out. Star Weirds are basically Star Wars version of demons. Star Weirds are tall, almost skeletal, incorporeal humanoids with pale skin, long white hair and glowing eyes. Their hands have long, sharp talons. Some witnesses say that their face looks similar to their own. Star Weirds live in the vacuum of space. They appear to space travelers repairing their ships in space and aboard vessels traveling through hyperspace. Star Weirds choose and focus on one target. They particularly target force sensitive individuals which are life forms that have a strong connection to the force and they concentrate on killing that individual even if there are other creatures present. Star Weirds attack by, and I quote, emitting a powerful sound that can reach a height comparable to that of a starfighter engine, causing great pain to their victims and perhaps even making their ears bleed. The sound necessary in order to rupture a human ear is 150 decibels, and so you can imagine how loud that is some sounds that are at 150 decibels are uh, the sound of a 12 gauge shotgun blast, a jet taking off, and fireworks at close range. Space weirds are physically immune to damage, they are extremely difficult to injure, and blasters are not very effective against space weirds. Even if a space weird has its entire body impaled, it can still continue to pursue their victim. So wampas or wampa ice creatures are carnivorous, semi-sentient, white furred, primitive species of mammals which dwell on the snow-clad planet of Hoth. Wampas have a height of 3 meters, they weigh 150 to 200 kilograms, they have white fur and they have black eyes, they also have cranial horns. Wampas live on the planet of Hoth and their habitat are the snow plains where they live in caves. Wampas are carnivorous ambush predators and they also have the ability to form clans which shows that they do have a degree of intelligence. Wampas normally prey on town towns but because town towns can run pretty fast about 90 kilometers an hour and have horns for defense the wampas have to ambush the town towns using their white fur as camouflage. Wampas will also hunt humans. Wampas either kill their prey with their razor sharp fangs and claws or stun their prey and then drag them to their caves where they hang their prey upside down for later consumption. Wampas have a strong sense of smell, a thick coat of white fur which allows them to blend into their icy landscape and wampas are also very strong as a single blow from a wampas forearm is enough to neutralize large prey and their bite is also extremely deadly. Skurlax are carnivorous creatures. They have a width of 3 meters and a length of 100 meters. They have a tan color and their distinctive features are their tentacles and their beak. Xenobiologists debate on whether the Skurlax is an animal or a carnivorous plant However, the danger these creatures present makes studying them far too risky, outweighing any benefits. Skurlak are located on several planets in the galaxy, such as Tatooine. They began as spores that can travel large distances. 
when a male and a female meet. The relatively smaller male feeds on the larger female, which increases the male size until the male bursts, releasing millions of spores into the air and atmosphere. After 30,000 years, they reach maturity and then they burrow below the ground about 100 meters and feed on creatures that fall into their mouths. Skurlax swallow its prey whole and its mouth has rows of spear-like teeth that keep its victims from climbing out. Its victims are then overwhelmed by toxic fumes and would die by either suffocation, the acid, or both. However, the Skurlax digestive process is slow. Because of this, the Skurlax digestive fluids are narrow toxins that keep its victim immobilized and alive while in a perpetual state of agony during the entire long digestion process. And if that wasn't bad enough, it's said that the Skurlax also tortures its prey mentally through telepathic torture, and the victim's minds become linked to the Skurlax making it more intelligent with each victim it consumes. Even if someone manages to escape the belly of the beast, their mind will still be connected to the Skurlak, as seen with Boba Fett.